Welcome to the Sloth Depletion Escalation as part of the 7 Deadly Sins DLC. Let's take you straight to the opening cutscene. Hello, 47. Waiting for your taskmaster. <laughs> well, she's not here. It's just you and I. I've been watching you, and frankly, it's been exhausting. Work, work, work. Oh, it's all you do. Well, you're in my hands now, and I'm going to show you the joy of taking it easy for once. By making it hurt when you don't. Your energy is fine, I thought you said. So spend it wisely. So I'm going to be showing you the Silent Assassin playthrough, and what this DLC entails is pretty like much you have to eliminate your targets, but each time you make any oh, type of such a movement, hard work, isn't he? your vitality goes down, oh, any type of action I you take, you like presents. taking on a target, your vitality goes down. So it's well, really stressing the part about being a sloth and just trying to do them. absolutely 90%. nothing when you're trying to actually do everything to complete this challenge. Anyway, as you can see that if you want to complete this as fast as you can, you actually would have to skip the cut opening cutscene and then go straight for what I just did, the Ninja Star and the Brig, and turn the radio here, which will distract uh, your first target well, and take him out with the Ninja Star. At least someone gets then we will rush all the way over here and take out your next target. And then go over here to the left and throw the Brig at the guy that's trying to get rid of the birds anyway. in the tree. 70%. There you go. You so you have to skip the opening cutscene in order to take out the targets like I did. And go ahead and hide this body over here in the in the bush, or whatever that is that conceals oh, the, like the body. And you want to go ahead and hide this guy over here. So he doesn't get spotted and ruin your silent assassin rating. Next you want to go... Hop over the uh, the wall here and grab the uh, screwdriver. Make sure not to get spotted, which I almost did here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create an accident kill by you know leaving the cemetery, Halfway. and you're gonna puncture a hole into this uh, uh, this container here, and it's gonna cause a leak, and it's gonna take out the. Uh, the Undertaker, they who's currently preoccupied. Pray runs. And you want to make your way over here to the Jogger. So the the only way you can increase your vitality is taking out the Jogger. And the Jogger will stop right there, right behind the two uh, guards, one of them being an enforcer. Throw the screwdriver like I just did and hide the body. And I'm also showing you not only the Silent Assassin, but the additional challenge completion where you must get at least above, I think, 50% vitality do things correctly like I just did here, you will get above, you know, 50%. Mm, what does that say? And you 70. have to wait for the last target to uh, essentially sake. kill themselves in an Everybody accident. Did jumping jacks while I wasn't looking. So I'll just kind of crouch over here. If people were supposed to exert themselves like this, their muscles would there you go. get sore. And then just make your way to the oh, exit, which sorry, is I behind you. And you just sit right back down. Still alive? Ready for you. That's going to complete level one counting. of this escalation. And pretty much the challenges I'm doing is trying to get above certain vitality. Taking out the jogger. And doing an on-site on the assassin, right? So all these all these additional challenges. And that's level one of the escalation. There you go, silent assassin. Less than three minutes. Not too bad, just as long as you skip the opening cutscene. Otherwise, targets and everything are not gonna line up correctly and you'll likely uh, have to redo. Completion of level one unlocks this uh, Slapdash SMG gun. This uh, Gold Brick Proximity Mine, which is a very overpowered mine that puts a lot of targets to sleep, and this Lotophage Suit. So you get that for level one completion. Next, we're gonna head on to level two. How did you like your first taste of negative reinforcement? Did you learn your lesson yet? Or are you just that much of a masochist? 
So level two behaves the same way as level one, so you just spawn in, but you're gonna be taking out new targets. Hunters so again, if you want the best you know, results, just kind of spawn in right away and skip the cutscene. I'm just kind of showing hunts. it for uh, purposes for those that have never seen the cutscene before. So you go over there, grab the axe, wait till the oh, target stop. turns his head, and just throw it. Go and make sure he's facing the bench, otherwise but you've you got get spotted. Energy left, right? uh, run over here to the, uh, to the hose and just turn it on, and it's going to create a puddle right there. And we're going to take our next sweating? target. That's and we're going to be grabbing the battery, possible. which is currently being, you know, watched by one of the uh, enforcers. See, the next target right there is highlighted in red. And over to my left over there is where I'm going to grab the battery. So the target's going to notice that the hose is turned on and he's going to go turn it off. So once he runs by, just wait for the other uh, enforcer to, you know, leave the battery and just hop over and go grab the battery. Okay. And you're going to take the battery and you're going to create an accident kill by just throwing it into the uh, puddle of water there. And the target's going to run into that. And you don't have to wait till the target, you know, is killed. Just go ahead and make your way over to the next area like I'm doing over here which is close to the where the, um, the camera's located. Just maybe a little bit past that. And what you're gonna do is the, the other target just walked by right there. And there's a confirmation for the target that well, just got electrocuted. Grab the screwdriver, run around over here, turn on the radio. Huh. That's gonna distract the guy that's sitting oh, on the bench. Such a hard worker, isn't and the he? target's already set up right there for another accident kill. Uh, so wait for the person that was just on the bench to go around back to turn push the target in now he's drowned and there's our jogger right there so we need to get the extra vitality and just catch up to the target and throw the screwdriver so if you're about at this point then you're okay then you're good to go because you can take out the target and just hide the body it's all about timing so if you want to get the, the fastest results, you would skip the cutscene that, that is in this video. Hunters lie in the grass. Next, come over here and just grab the sniper rifle. The next target's over there, just cleaning the windows. Hunt. Nobody's really around. Just aim the sniper rifle, you know, hold down whatever button you can to slow down time. Shoot the target just oh, like a dip, right. and that's it. Okay. So you maintain a vitality of about 50%, and just now make your way to the update. exit. Good thing is about level one, level two is like you're not in a trespassing area, so only a few people, a few guards and forcers will spot you. So it's not like the entire area is a trespassing. So I'll complete level two, and you'll get the challenge pop-ups there for the completion, and that'll give you your also the silent assassin rating, just like I did there. Three minutes again. And then next we're going to move on to the level three escalation, which I think is as it escalates, it gets a lot tougher and definitely you're going to be in a confined building and timing is very important on this one as well. So why don't we go ahead and make our way to level three. Back for more. <laughs> I'm not sure you're truly taking my message to heart. Well, it's your life. So level three, we're actually starting inside the manor slash mansion. And again, if you want the best results, you would skip the cutscene. And I'm just showing it again for those that want to see what it looks like if you don't skip it. So you run over here, you grab that lockpick. I don't think I really need the lockpick there, but I grabbed it anyway. Just grab the cane and then make your way back. Make sure to not to get spotted which I almost Ten did. Down. Make your way over here to Nine this wall, to the secret entrance, just hit that. And just go from room to room. This will be the best way to avoid all the other, you know, enforcers and guards that are in the manor itself. Just make your way over here into this room. Uh, you can grab the book there to open up the other room. Just make sure you do it where you don't get spotted by the guy right there, because that is an illegal, uh, illegal move. 
and wait till this guy walks over there and you can just take him out with a cane. What does that say? You can grab the SMG Seven's there, here. although I don't think I really For use it. What sake. you will use though you be doing jumps is the sniper rifle. And just make sure to take out the chandelier. I think it's the okay. second one, second to last one at the very end. That's gonna go ahead and take out the, the butler. I think that's Burnsby, or Fernsby I should say. There you go, the butler is now dead. And then now take out the one that's closest to you. That's gonna take out the other target below. So that's two Western targets piece, down um, in a matter of seconds. Whatever your name was. Next you wanna go ahead and retrace your steps. Yeah, pick up the pistol from the guy that you if knocked out. Supposed to exert themselves like you can this, use that or the SMG for what I'm about sore. to do after I take out this guy by pushing what him through the window. Be? Next, we're gonna go ahead and he looks so peaceful, you know, make our he? way to the rooftop. Halfway. Actually, before the rooftop, you know, we're gonna take out another target. So grab the uh, the duster there, and you want to make your way over to the room to the left. And you're gonna knock out uh, this house worker there. And take the letter opener that I grabbed at the beginning of the mission me. and take out the next percent. target. Don't need to hide the body. You really are going to work to yourself room. to death, Agent. <laughs> uh, make your way over to the room across. Um, run this way, stay crouched, make sure you don't get seen. And then go out through the two doors right here. Just kind of hide behind the crate right here for a bit. Wait till this uh, guard walks off and then kind of set yourself up into a position because we're going to take out the jogger because our vitality is low. And okay, make sure you don't get spotted because, you know, by the folks that are inside. So the jogger's going to stop right there and it sets up perfectly the sniper kill. Just line up your shot, slow down the time, and then take out the target. Next, we have one more target, and Ooh. what we're gonna do is we're gonna lure one of the guards away, which is the guard that was actually leaning over. And see, so he's just walking over there, and I'm just kinda hiding to make sure I don't get spotted. The guy that's, that's right there staring off in the center. We're gonna drop one of the weapons, it doesn't matter which one. I would say just go ahead and drop either the pistol or the SMG you found because we're going to use that to lure the one guard away because oh. he's going to take the weapon. Like some so you can even use your sniper hand. rifle like I just did right there. It doesn't really matter because we don't need the sniper rifle anymore. And see, because you dropped what? the sniper rifle, uh, at least the guy right there is not going to be hostile to, towards you because if you carry a sniper Which rifle run around, people will, will consider you hostile and, and attack you on sight. So there's the guy taking away the sniper rifle. Come back over here, drop any other weapon you want. I dropped the pistol here. So there's the target, he's gonna spot it. Now I tried to set it up where I can try to do an accident kill to push him over, but it wasn't far enough. So all I did is I just uh, subdued him and just quickly snapped his neck and then make, make your way over to the exit. Say so about that's what gonna be up one additional up level. But it's not on this Pretty side, sure. it's actually gonna be up the pipe right here. You do it quickly enough, I don't think they're gonna spot the other body that you just snapped the neck. And that's really it. So that's gonna complete level three. And again, the vitality is above 50%, so it's gonna give us the challenge completion for taking out the jogger for the third time, plus the vitality you know, above 50%. And I think just for completing the level three as well. So yeah, 12,000 XP. So that's it. So that, that was one of the more harder of the Silent Assassins, but again, if you time it right by just kind of following my path, then you can be able to get it done under five minutes there. Remember to like this video, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Take care now.